Uh, hello, uh, we are at a place called Pinkernell's Whiskey Market. I personally called it Whiskey Heaven as soon as I walked in. It is a whiskey store that sells whiskeys from all over the place. And it is in Salzburg. It is right in the old town. So as you come in here, you walk into a corner, there's a board outside saying Pinkernell's Whiskey Market. And this is what I found. I found whiskies from all over the world. And the wonderful thing is, I found India also represented. They don't put flags anywhere, obviously, but they have segregated them as per the country of origin. Also, they represent a few independent bottlers who are basically not distillers, but uh, they buy whiskey casks from distillers and then they bottle it under their own label. So even their own Pinkernel brand is something like that. They blend it and bottle it and then sell it under their own brand. So it's been a great experience just looking around and reading the labels of some of these bottles and uh, I think any whiskey lover would enjoy spending some time here and maybe picking up something that he would love to drink at uh, you know at his pleasure. I'm sorry I didn't ask you your name. I'm Dorothy. Dorothy hello Dorothy it's wonderful to be here and as soon as you walk in you realize that this is really a whiskey lover's place somebody would come in here and say man this is the kind of place that I want to spend the rest of my life in. <laughs> So I think Dorothy is a very lucky lady to meet whiskey lovers every day of the week. And uh, now here you have India represented. You've got uh, whiskey from the Netherlands. You've got whiskey from Germany. And I, I, I didn't even honestly know that they had this uh, industrial scale of, or they even had any whiskey culture. So obviously I'm very wrong. And uh, there is of course a huge representation of uh, Scottish, uh, Irish whiskeys, mostly Scottish. And of course, there is American bourbon and so on, uh, which is, and even amongst the Scottish, you get all the single malls, you get the blended whiskies and the whole, you know, the story. But uh, let's just ask you what, in your view, out of Scotland, and let's say leave bourbon also out, what is in your view are uh, world-class whiskies or to, to, to taste, I don't know matter taste, but yet what would you say is, is good, fine whiskey? Well, it's hard to say because it's always a matter of taste. I understand. Uh, they, they make whiskey in so many, many different countries and, and really good whiskey. We have Australian whiskey here, we have Japanese whiskey, we have whiskey from Norway, from England, um, also from Austria, obviously, uh, and from Switzerland. Right. Um, oh. and, and all of them make really, really fine whiskey. And, and the good thing, she gets to drink it all for free, I would think. <laughs> but uh, so these, when, when you compare them with, uh, say, Scottish whiskey, somehow whiskey seems to have been completely hijacked by Scotland, uh, pretty much. So people say, oh, but I've heard Japanese whiskeys are very good. Uh, they are. Uh, I mean, uh, Japan has a, a whiskey making tradition that is mo more than 100 years old. Oh, okay. Uh, and they've learned to make whiskey from the Scottish. Ah, uh, so but it's uh, aged the same way it is It is uh, barreled in sherry and oak cast and all that. Yes, yes. So uh, when you compare the prices, I mean like it does, uh, because it tends to happen that, uh, you know, whiskeys get a name for themselves and then immediately everything goes, you know, into another level. So are there good whiskey distilleries that, that sell good quality whiskey, probably world class as you would call it, at reasonable prices, like I would say about 40, 50 euro is a very fair price to pay for a good quality, well-aged 12 to 15 year old whiskey, wouldn't you? Yes, of course, that there are plenty of distilleries that uh, still have a reasonable uh, price, price point. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are just a few that are uh, totally hyped and, and uh, uh, yeah, where you mostly pay for the name. Uh, right, right. Amrut is making a name for itself right now. So you can, I've, I've seen this displayed in, in duty free in different parts of the world as well as in some um, uh, uh, specialist uh, whiskey shops. So I'm really happy to see that here. So as Dorothy, the manager here at the Pinkernels Whiskey Market is telling me that the company has two locations. One is uh, one store is in Berlin in Germany and the other one is here in Salzburg in Austria. And uh, she was telling me that uh, the company uh, represents uh, more than 100 distillers from different parts of the world. And uh, it's very interesting to look around and see whiskey from such faraway places like Japan and Australia and Norway where 
you normally don't associate with whiskey making. And on top of that, she said that uh, they have more than 500 different types of whiskies available. So uh, that that's an incredible amount of, uh, you know, a range of whiskies uh, that you have to choose from. So if you're in this side uh, of the world, in this part of the world, if you're in Austria, if you're in Salzburg, do drop in to Pinkernell's Whiskey Market. And they also have their own brand here. So they dis, uh, they brew, uh, rather, uh, they blend their own uh, blend. And so therefore you can pick it up locally and maybe she will probably, if she's in a good mood, she'll give you a little bit to try as well. <laughs> uh, Dorothy has just poured me a little bit of her uh, Pinkernell, which is the blender. So it is a local blend. It's a 59% uh, 56. So that is, uh, would be considered more than uh, 100 proof in, in the US and uh, it's a very, I, I had it, it's very peated so it's very, uh, it's kind of flavor is kind of strong but it's lovely on the throat, it doesn't just grab you by, by, you know, by your throat, it went down very very smooth so I quite enjoyed that. Now then I asked her a question as to which is the most expensive whiskey that they have here at the moment. So she was telling us about the? It's a uh, long row, uh, a single cast bottling by Northstar, 25 year old, and uh, cask strength at 52.1%. Very, very rare. And the whiskey distilled at Springbank Distillery, um, heavily peated. And uh, we've actually uh, opened uh, a bottle to, to share it. And, uh, oh. So I got uh, to try it, okay. and it was just divine. Really? So that's a fifteen hundred euro bottle of whiskey, and then I'm sure there are more expensive whiskeys elsewhere. But uh, the point is, and I'm not going to even take it out because if I drop it, I'll have to buy it, and I'll probably have to, you know, <laughs> sell myself or a kidney or two. <laughs> but then, um, so. Uh, this is not sold commercially in terms of um, like uh, duty-free shops and stuff like that, is it? No, no. This, this is an independent bottling and uh, only a few shops uh, get these kinds of bottles. Ah, I see. Yeah. So how, how many do you get? I mean, do you, do you keep a lot of them or how does it work? I mean, or do you replace them as you sell them? Uh, well, we don't buy whiskey to keep it. Uh -huh. uh, we are a whiskey shop, so we, we buy it just to, to sell it. Yeah. Um, and um, of, of this uh, kind of rare bottling, uh, we got just one case, so that's six bottles. Right. And um, they're, they're, they're gone from oh. the, from the, um, from the bottler. So right. we can't replace them. Uh, we just got the ones you see here. Right. Um, while stocks last. So the, these are uh, collector whiskies, or are they, that's a different breed altogether, aren't they? Um, well, we recommend to drink the whiskey and not collect it because oh. whiskey is made for drinking. <laughs> um, but uh, of course, some of our customers also are collectors. Okay. So, do you notify your customers when you when certain things come and uh, there's some special mailing list? Oh, yes. Okay. But thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. And uh, I I would say. Yeah, here is a whiskey that she recommended. Uh, it is from Scotland, the Space Side. Yes. Where, where, where is this one? Which? From the Space Side. From the Space Side. It's a Space Side whiskey. And uh, guys, it's about only about 45, 50 euro. And um, it's a 12 year old. So bye bye from the Pinkerons Whiskey Market in Salzburg. Thank you, Dorothy. Really appreciate your time. Thank and you. uh, good luck with uh, you know the whiskey market. Thank you very much. Yeah. So bye bye and a very happy new year.